Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to integrate with SendGrid from your C Sharp application. First step is to go to the SendGrid website and go to the um, integration guide and choose Web API. It's the easiest way to integrate and it will give you lots of different options of languages that will make it easy to integrate with. So I'm going to just choose C Sharp. And if I go ahead, I can give my API key a name. Um, that's just going to be something that you identify it by so that if there comes a time to change your API key or um, remove it for whatever reason, you can do that. Um, once you click create, it will give you the API key. You should create an environment variable. I'm just going to use, the hard, use a hard-coded API key for the purposes of this demo. If you're doing an Azure function, you can actually put it inside your Azure key vault so it's nice and secure. Um, it's not that common, I guess, that you'd want to probably um, have that hard-coded. If you're checking into source code, definitely don't hard-code it because um, then it'll be, there's a risk that it might be accessed by someone um, and leaked and then people can use your SendGrid um, API key to send emails. So this is, they provide you with some sample code to um, send an email. But if you want to do anything more complex, like adding attachments, just let me know and I'll try and provide a tutorial on that as well. Um, but basically what you do is you first get your API key, you create a SendGrid client, and then you configure your email however you want. So here I am, I've got my API key, um, and I'm just going to copy that because I didn't set up an environment variable for this, just for simplicity. Um, but yeah, if you are doing this as an actual application, it would be worthwhile to do that. Um, and what you do is you pass your API key to the client and from there you can send emails from the client and you just need to configure the particular message. So I've got my um, verified email address and that will be what I'm using to send email addresses, but uh, emails from SendGrid. But if you have additional um, emails you want to send from, you can set those up and you can send from whatever verified email addresses you have. So I've got chelsea at tripwiretech.com. I'm just going to specify the email and name for the e um, who I'm sending from. Then I can specify a subject as well. I can specify who I'm sending from, sending to, that can be anyone. So I'm just going to send to hello at tripwiretech.com. Just so I can show you that the email actually comes through. So I want it to be an account that I have access to. And then you specify plain text content and HTML content. Once that's done, you can create your single email and then you can just um, send to um, userclient.sendemail async with your message as a parameter to send the email. I'm going to need to call that um, method that I've created there in order to actually send my email. And you may also want to use the response. So there's a few different things you might want to use from the response. You might want to use the response body or you may want to use the response status code. So I'm just going to console.write line those out just so you can sort of see what the values are. It might allow you to check whether your email has actually been sent. And from there, you may um, do different things. When I'm calling execute, I'm going to need to await it just so that it actually sends the email successfully. I found if you don't actually add the await, then it doesn't send that email successfully. I'm also going to add a console.read line so it doesn't exit the application once it executes. And you can see the value of the status code and the body. 
So if I run that, then it will show me the status code and the body once it sends. So you can see it was a string, and that was because I hadn't actually awaited my um, my body response, and you can actually see I've received the email as well. So that's pretty cool, and you can actually click on it to see a bit more like who is who it was sent from and who it was sent to. Um, so yeah, you can just sort of see that detail there as you'd expect. And it says via sendgrid.net, so you can sort of see that it's been sent via sendgrid. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content or my code will be available on GitHub.